In this video, I teach you a economizer. What is the function of economizer? Where it is located in the boilers and construction working and advantages and disadvantages of economizers. So first we study the function of the economizers. So economizer is generally used to heat the feed water. Then after this, heated feed water is supplied to the boilers. So this heating is done by using the waste heat of the fuel gases. So from the boilers, we are supplied the exhaust gases to the atmospheres. They contain the sum of the heat energy that is utilized to heat the feed waters. So here I show you the locations where it is the installed. So we know the in a boilers we supply the water, some fuel, air. Okay, so three things is supplied. The first one we supplied the water. Second, we supplied the some fuels and third we supplied the air. And what is the output? There is a three input and three output is there. One is the steam, second one is the exhaust gases, and third one is the S. Okay. So this is the common construction in the boilers. Now suppose we heat this water. Then we install the one economizer here. Suppose we need to heat this air, then we need to here put one air preheaters. And if we want to heat the steam, then we need to put here the one superheater. And all the three component, the exhaust gases is supply means heating is done by using this exhaust gas. So here we install the one economizers and the water from the pump is come in economizers and this exhaust gas is also supplied to economizers. So this waste energy is utilized to heat the water. Then it is supplied then we are able to achieving the more temperatures of the steams. Then after the exhaust gases from this economizer is supplied to the air preheaters then after it is supplied to chimney and then go to the atmosphere. Now next we move towards the construction. So here the this is the image of independent type vertical tube economizers. So there is a number of vertical tube is there. So it is one tube, second, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that is a number of tube. That's why it is known as the independent type vertical tube economizers. It is employed for a boiler of minimum pressure range up to 25 bar. It consists of a large number of vertical tube. And this vertical tube is material of this vertical tube is either cast iron or a steel water pipes. So this vertical tube is made from cast iron either the steel. And one end of this vertical pipe is connected with horizontal pipe A. So here it is denoted as the header A. Okay, this is a here one horizontal pipe. And another end of this vertical pipe is connected with this horizontal pipe B. It is also known as the header B as shown in this figure. So this is the main part. Another component is that is a feed water inlet valve. Here the feed water outlet valve, stop valve. Here the safety valve. And here you see there is a number of scraper is installed. This scraper is used to remove the soot that we understand in details. For operating this scraper up and down, here the one chain and gear arrangement is provided. So due to chain and gear arrangement, the scraper is moving up and down and soot that is a stick on the pipe is collected in this below part that is known as the soot chambers. And the flue gases is, is in from this side that is coming out from this chimney and then flue gases is outlet from this side. Okay, so next we move towards the working. The feed waters enter into the economizers through the bottom pipe A. So where is the bottom pipe A? So here you see that is a feed water inlet pipe. So from this here water is inlet. From bottom pipe the waters come into the top pipe B through the vertical pipe and then comes into the boiler means water enter from this here it's moving in this vertical pipe and come in this horizontal pipe B. So here in two pipe I see that is the water is moving vertical but there is a number of pipe. Okay then after it's come in this horizontal pipe then after it is supplied to the boiler. The flue gases flow around the pipe in the direction opposite the flow of water means water is moving in upward direction and the flue gases is moving in this horizontal direction so it is opposite to the flow of the water so flue gases is flow moving in this direction that is indicated as the orange arrow now consequently the heat transfer to the surface of the pipe is takes place and water is thereby heated so water is flowing from inside this pipe 
and from this outside there is a flue gases is passing so these flue gases first heat the pipe material of the pipe then after this material of the pipe heated is heat the waters and then after heated water is collected in this horizontal pipe b then it is discharged to the boiler the heated water is supplied to the boiler from the stop valve so here we see this stop valve so from this place it is supplied to the boiler the suit of the flue gases deposited on the pipe reduce the efficiency of the economizers means that is a suit is sticks on the pipe that reduce the heat transfer coefficient then why it's the efficiency of the economizer is reduced that why this scraper is installed to prevent the suit deposit the scrapers are moved up and down by the chain and gear to keep the external surface of the pipe clean so it is a number of the scraper is there 1 2 3 4 in bottom also four those these scrapers are move up and down and remove the suit from the pipe and these scrapers are operated by using this chain and gear arrangement blow up cog is provided at the back end of the vertical pipe to remove the sediment deposited in the bottom box so one blow up cog is provided to empty the economizers the bypass arrangement of the flue gases enables to isolate or include the economizers in part of the flue gases means here one bypass arrangement is provided so we can control the amount of the flue gas is passing from it and others we bypass to the directly to the chimney so next is the advantages higher feed water temperatures tend to reduce the boiler thermal stress so life of the boiler is increased so if we supply the water with high temperature so it reduce the boiler thermal stress and boiler efficiency is increased economizer utilize waste heat from the flue gases so fuel consumption of the boiler is reduced because we supply the water at the higher temperatures that's why we are required to lower the fuel consumption of the boiler means mass of the fuel supply is reduced the economizers increase the evaporative capacity of boilers means it increase the steam generation rate and the disadvantage is of the economizer is economizer is placed at the passage of flow of the flue gases so pressure drop takes place of the flue gas and loss of the draft means loss of the draft is there so we are required to put the fan in a flow of the exhaust gases so this is the disadvantage of these economizers so thank you for watching this video if you learn then like the video subscribe the channels and share with your friends